So I just want you to know, when you look at my stuff, you'll know that I haven't spent a lot of money on this. And if you just bought a brand new trailer, you're not gonna wanna spend a lot of money on stocking it either. Just for our kitchen setup, it's very basic. I just wanna let you know that we have a three burner stove. I'm just gonna start out with plates and bowls. So we have a set of four of the large melamine. I think that melamine is really the best option for your small trailer. Obviously these have to be hand washed. I don't know of any small trailers that have a dishwasher, sorry. But anyway, melamine is a really good option. They hold up really well. They come really clean. They won't break in the back of the trailer. Generally they come in a set of four and you can get these at Walmart very inexpensively. You can also find melamine plates on Amazon if you shop with Amazon. I really like this pattern and so I splurged a little bit to get something fun but I've seen stuff just like this at Walmart so I also have the small plates I guess these are a dessert or a salad plate there's only two of us the reason why we have four sets of dishes is sometimes we have friends come along and when we do we'll share the cooking so it's nice to have some extras for company and then I got a big bowl. I really like a big bowl for chili or cereal or any of those kinds of things. So I got a big, also melamine bowls. They didn't have any of these in the matching patterns, so I got these ones. I really like them. I think they're pretty. These came with the trailer when we bought it. We bought the trailer used. And they're just, they're nice. They're just regular stainless steel pans. And I have one like this size. And then this, we just, an old pan that we had. Honestly, if you go to the thrift store, you can get these on the shelf and they're not that expensive. You can buy them at Walmart, Amazon, fairly inexpensively. And then this was just an old nonstick frying pan that we had in the house. So again, you don't have to spend a lot of money on this stuff. And then later on, if you want to upgrade and you want to buy something fancy, because I really wanted these, you could do that. But when you first start out, it's hard just even to get to know what you're really going to want or use or like. For example, you might not like this size pan. You might want a smaller size pan. You might want a bigger size pan. So if you just don't spend a lot of money to begin with and you just get something, you can switch things out later on as you get to know your travel style and your cooking style and all those different things. Next up, cups. We like these. They're not the Red Solo. They're, they're like a plastic version of the Red Solo, really hearty. And I just think they're cute. So we got two of those. We have two small serving bowls this size. And that seems to work pretty well for us. If I know that I'm gonna be making something bigger, like a big salad or something like that, then I'll bring another bowl from home. We don't have that much space, so we really have to think small and really do things to conserve space. And one of the things that I've done to conserve space is these flexible bowls. And they just they have lids. So if you have leftovers and you need to have you know, you have a serving bowl, and then you put the lid on, then you have a place for leftovers. So, and then it just squeezes down. And this came in a set of three, and I got it on Amazon. And they all have lids. This is, um, there was a large, medium, and a small. For other food storage, this is just the container that the lunch meat comes in, and these come in different sizes. So, if you have lunch meat containers, um, just wash them out and then use them. You can just throw them in the trailer and use them for that. If you don't, then you can buy other some other kind of storage. This I really do like this storage system and it's also a serving bowl, so that works really great. Doug likes margaritas, so we splurged. We got these fancy margarita glasses. Actually, I think my daughter got these for us, so yeah. So we got that. A colander. This is also, this. I know this is a really small colander. Whoa! It's got a little lid on the bottom. You can get these in bigger sizes as well, but this is really a good size for us for pasta. This is uh, actually two, about two servings of pasta for us, if you can believe that. Now they do make dishes with holes in them and that you could just dump the water out and that's what I want, so eventually I'll upgrade to that. We have a freezer, so if you have a freezer in your small trailer, then ice cubes. Again, Doug really likes to have a cold drink with ice. He loves ice. I got these on Amazon and one broke like immediately. I still have one, but then we got a really heavy duty one so he can have ice. A tablecloth. I like to have a washable tablecloth, so this is a fabric tablecloth. And I tell you, we spilled all kinds of stuff on this tablecloth and it just washes right out. I know that you can get those, the tablecloths with the felt back on it. Them, and I just don't like those as well. I don't feel like they come that clean. Um, so I really like to have a fabric tablecloth. 
obviously you want to have trash bags <laughs> right so we don't actually use these trash bags we actually use we reuse grocery bags for our trash and in the situation that we have in our trailer we have such a small space that that works really well for us but you definitely gonna want trash bags paper towels and then if you want it to be really nice you can have napkins we often just use paper towels for napkins we have two measuring cups we have a dry measuring cup and a liquid measuring cup and really that's about all we need for the type of cooking that we do we don't like to cook i mean neither one of us really like to cook so i try to make ahead meals as much as i can but these do come in handy and if you love to cook, then you'll want to have all those little cooking type things. So the other thing we have is wine glasses. Again, this is like, this was a gift that Doug got and I got this at a veterinary conference. So <laughs> it's just use whatever you have. But the main thing is you want these things to be non-breakable because your trailer shakes around quite a bit and you don't want them to break in your trailer. So otherwise I would have glass. I love a glass wine glass, but this really works for the situation. Plastic wear. <laughs> we love it. We use paper plates a lot too. And these little containers, I just fill them up with knives and forks and spoons and we use plastic wear for that. Also different sizes of plastic storage bags. We do, we really like those. One quart is the one that we use the most and probably after that, maybe a gallon. But if we only ever had quart bags in there, we'd be just fine. And again, we're trying to save space because we have a small trailer. Coffee, I can't live without coffee. I don't know about you, but if coffee is important to you, then you want to find the type of coffee makers that work for you. So originally I started out with this percolator. It's just an old style percolator and it sits right on your uh, burner. And I used this for a really long time. The thing I don't like about it is getting the grounds out is very messy. So Doug bought a Jackery. So now, even if we don't have shore power, I can still do, it's a Keurig style, it's actually a, just a cheap Walmart Keurig style coffee maker that uses the pods. And I love it because when I'm done with it, I just throw away the pod and it's not a big mess. So if you camp at campgrounds a lot and you know that you're gonna have power, this is the way to go in my opinion. I like to have the biggest coffee cup I can get and I love a big cup of coffee in the morning. Doug doesn't drink coffee so I'm the only one that has a coffee cup and then I have to have water so I have a little water bottle. I'm gonna take you inside and show you what I have in my drawers. That sounded really weird. Here's what we keep in our drawers. We have uh, a set of four spoons, forks, and knives. We also have a set of four um, steak knives. Then we have a small knife cheese knife that's a that's a upgrade for Doug and back here we have this folding cheese grater so that's nice we like to eat pizza this is a really small pizza wheel that we have this is for just a lighter that's for starting the campfire and stuff like that bag clip I like this size of spoon it's kind of a smaller size and it fits in here really well we have a couple different spatulas. Wine opener, that's really important. This wine opener is, uh, it's like a kind of a Swiss Army knife and it opens bottles too and it doesn't take up much space. And then we have a large knife, small paring knife. You can't have enough spoons, I'm telling you. We don't peel many potatoes, but you never know when you're gonna need that. These are huge. I use scissors all the time and I especially use them when we're camping. Okay. I love this can opener. I bought one for the house. It also has a bottle opener on it, as you can see. I bought one of these for the house as well because I love it. It was the highest rated can opener that you could get on Amazon. And I, I'm tired of fighting with cans and we really do need a can opener. These are weights for the picnic table cover, you know, when the wind blows and sometimes you just want to have a little bit of weight on it. Uh, we also keep spices. So a lot of, there's a lot of different ways to organize your spices. I have seen those nice little metal containers that have the magnetic tops and I really like those too, but um, this is just the way I do it. So you really have to think about which spices you use all the time. But what I do have is I have uh, Omnia, so I can bake a lot of things on the stove top. That's basically what this is. It's a stove top oven. I, I got the silicone liner just because it's easier to keep clean and then you can also get other um, implements that go with it that make baking a little bit easier. Obviously, if you have an oven, you will want to bring baking pans and all that kind of stuff, but 
This doesn't take up very much space and we don't have an oven anyway. If you have an oven then you would just store all your baking implements in it, I would think. You know, your cookie sheets and all those kinds of things. Really love this Omnia. It's pretty pricey. I think it was around $60. Uh, and then all the different implements are also expensive, but it was really worth it to me to have something that we could just do like quick baking in. If you'd like to see the items that we use when we're dispersed camping, check out this video. If you'd like to see how we keep our small trailer organized, check out this video.